Hello, everybody. I'd like to share with you today uh, something that I have uh, been learning uh, for a long time. There was a time when I used to make fun of the children of Israel uh, for taking 40 years. Are you kidding me? 40 years in the wilderness to get to the place where they were qualified to enter the good land. And uh, I have been meditating on God's word, especially in Deuteronomy chapter 8 for months now. And it finally dawned on me, slow learner, I must admit, I'm a slow learner, that there was only one lesson that the children of Israel had to learn. One lesson. And do you not want to know what that lesson is? In Deuteronomy 8, it tells us what that lesson is. And that lesson is this. God wanted the children of Israel to learn that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. That is the lesson. And it took them 40 years to learn that lesson. But actually, uh, to put it to you, our, from my point of view, it took 40 years for the unbelief in among in the children of Israel to die off so that they could grab onto God's word, believe it, and then they were qualified to take possession of the land. And that's the only way they could take possession of the good land is to believe and live by God's word. So it's very interesting that they got to the place where they were willing to obey a very stupid instruction, humanly speaking. It was, it was stupid. Here's how you're going to take the land. The first city, the first big fortified city with walls as thick as 12 chariots wide, from what I understand, um, the, the way you're going to take that is, I want you to march around the, the city seven times. One time a day. And I want you to say a word. And then on the seventh day, I want you to march around the city seven times and shout. Now, how dumb is that? You're going to take a big fortified city that way? Isn't this interesting? They did it, which proved that they learned that I'm going to live by bread alone. I'm not sorry, I'm not going to learn by bread alone, but I'm going to learn by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Let me tell you something. God has big plans for you. He's got big plans for me. And he's probably going to ask you to do something that you have no business doing, that you cannot do on your own, or it might seem like the stupidest thing you ever heard in your life. But there's a good chance that that is your test. You know, the children of Israel never had to do anything like that again. They just had to obey an instruction that was unwise to the worldly standards. And when they obeyed, that city fell and they took possession. And that was their entry into the good land. My friends, you have a good land. God has a land for you, a land for you to take, a land for you to possess. And right now, there's a good chance, if you're listening to this, that you're in the wilderness. And God wants you out of the wilderness. But the only way that you're ever going to get out of this wandering around in the wilderness, wandering around your entire Christian life, like I've been doing for over 40 years, is that you've got to come to the place that you live only by what God says. Human logic, advice from the professionals, none of that is going to work. You have got to trust and obey God's word. And when you are willing to do that, you will enter and take possession of your good land. This is awesome. To me, this is awesome that uh, to discover the only lesson that God wanted them to learn. And then the way he proved they learned it is by offering some silly instruction for them to follow. But happy is the man who meditates on the Lord's instruction. And that is the truth. And so I'm learning this. It's taken a long time. 
And I hope that you will learn this lesson too, but you have to learn it. You have to learn that when it comes to your sickness, when it comes to your diseases, when it comes to your, your depleted bank accounts, you cannot trust any of that that you see. You've got to learn to live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, and you will succeed, and you will overcome, guaranteed, not by me, but by his own word. Amen.